Hi everyone, this is Issa Tees. This is part two of why you don't get what you think you want. Now hopefully you've watched part one already, which was done about a week ago. You can scroll up or scroll down or however it is that you scroll and you'll see that. And that's a good thing to watch before you do this one. So I'm just going to do a 30 second review to kind of get you in the flow, so to speak. So last time I spoke about that there's a lag time in manifestation on this planet and it has purpose and it's really valuable because what occurs is that we have a time to think about and determine if that's what we really, really want. And when we do that, it gives us a chance to reconsider and see if we really want to put all of our energy on it or not. The second thing that I suggested that you do is that you move yourself to a, to a place where you're in touch with your resistances. Just feel that feeling, that doubt, that fear, whatever it is that's there. And when you notice that, just take a moment and sit down and literally write out what comes up, just spontaneous, like streams of consciousness, so to speak, about what that fear is about. And that's going to help start to lift that. So let's just assume we got all that cleared up, okay? And now we know what it is that we want. And we're very, very clear about it. Remember last time we spoke about how we have to have very, very pristine clarity about what it is that we want. So now that we've got that, we know exactly what it is that we're desiring, then we have to look at, why do I want this? Why do I even want this? Because if you don't know why you want what it is that you want, there's no passion there. There has to be a tremendous amount of energy. To manifest on this planet means that you have to come up with the energy that it takes to really put your intention and your vibration and your thought processes and all of your energy on it. And what's going to really bring that up really big? Well, I'll tell you. It's the why. Why am I doing this? Is it because I want to put my children through school? Is it because I want a new Tesla? Is it because I just want my own home that will be awesome? I want new clothes. I want a new camera. I want a new phone. I want to do something. Whatever it is, there's a reason. And that reason has to be enough that it will fire you up and you wake up in the morning and that's what it is that you're going to focus on because that's what it is that is your highest priority. So when you want something, you have to recognize it's got to be a high priority because if it isn't, it's going to kind of show up with the degree of passion you have for it. The second thing that's important is for you to find the passion at a level that's really in your guts, in your hearts, in your soul. So the why brings up that passionate feeling and again that energy will grow up inside of you to where it's like nothing and no one is standing in my way. And I mean nothing and no one's going to stand in my way because this is what I'm committed to, which takes me to the next one, commitment. You have to have a commitment. Sometimes it isn't easy. Sometimes it really is in a place in our lives where we just seem to boom, bump up again, boom, bump up against, boom, bump ups against. I know that I've been in that place a lot of my life. When I was uh, younger, when I was t taking a respite from medicine, I went into real estate. And when I was in real estate, I made the decision. I really desired to be the uh, a multi-million dollar producer in real estate my first year in real estate. Well, you've probably heard me tell the story before, but the interest rates were 18. The points were at like 17 or 19 or something ridiculous. And I didn't really even think about that. All I thought about was that I am going to be a multi-million dollar producer my first year in real estate. Well, all of these things that were already in play with the interest rates and all of that was happening, but guess what then? If I didn't think it was enough of a challenge then, let's do this. Let's have a really serious car accident. Let's go through a telephone pole and be in a hospital bed upright for three months. And let's be in a wheelchair for a year. Do you ever put handicaps like that on yourself? Do you ever notice those kinds of seeming blocks just are going to do anything to keep you from what it is you say you want? Not uncommon. Maybe not to that extreme, but it's there. Because the universe is always teaching us to be moving up the ladder and getting stronger and being more empowered with what it is that we want. To really see where it is that we have passion for what it is that we say we want. Because otherwise we would just have all kinds of things. Have you ever been in a place where you said, oh, I wish they would die? Well, 
maybe you really meant it, but probably you didn't. And think if your word instantly manifested. That would not be necessarily in your best interest because you'd probably end up in jail, let alone feeling a lot of guilt. So the bottom line is that the way the universe is set up is quite powerful. And you have to learn how to live within the realms of the way it is set up if you want what it is that you want within the time frame that seems reasonable and doesn't take your whole lifetime to get there. So we've got our why. We know that we have to be committed and you've got to follow through because a commitment means that you have to keep on going, keep on going. And when you come up against those blocks, that's when you have an opportunity to really go back to your why. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this because I want whatever that is for you. So you've got your why, you've got your commitment, and you are committed to follow through. That means that you will let nothing and no one stand in the way. And when that fear comes up, and it probably will, and when that doubt comes up, and it probably will, that's when you say, nothing and no one will stand in the way of what I'm committed to. And it also means that you are going to be in a place where you get to realize that there's fear there. The fear will try to stop you and you will say to yourself, I will never, ever let the fear stop me. I will never, ever let the fear stop me. When you find that kind of commitment, your manifestations will come about. But it takes that kind of intensity. And when you recognize that, you will realize that, boom, things happen so much more rapidly. So I'm going to leave you with a question today. What would it take for me to be fully and completely in a place where I receive what it is that I desire? What will it take for me to be fully and completely in a place where I am allowing myself to receive exactly what I desire? I know you can do it. These are key principles that will make a difference in your life. Share this video. Please share part one and part two with your friends because this is what is going to make the world a better place. And I thank you and I acknowledge you for doing that. And as you share, send me a private message so I know so you can go into our free giveaway. I really appreciate you being here with me. I really appreciate you being here with me. And here's what it is that I want to invite you for. And that is a free 20-minute coaching or counseling or consulting session with me. It doesn't matter what it's about. It can be about your business. It can be about your health. It can be about your relationship. It can be about your children. It can be about your money. It doesn't matter. I can support you. No strings attached. Just send me a private message and I'll send you my scheduling link. I look forward to connecting with you and being with you so you are manifesting what you are truly desiring. Until next time, feel a hug.